One of the simplifying strategies we teach our scholars is to use number bonds. And I'm going to show you how to use number bonds to add. A number bond is when you decompose or break a number down into two smaller parts. Let me show you how that helps them add. This particular strategy helps a student make a 10, which is a friendlier number, a 10 or a multiple of 10. For instance, for 29 plus 16, I know in order for 29 to be a multiple of 10, 30, it needs one more. So I'm going to make a number bond with the number 16. I'm going to decompose it into two smaller parts so that I can use one of the parts to make 29 a multiple of 10. So 29 only needs one more to make 30. 29 plus 1 equals 30. Now if I take 1 from 16, I will have 15 left. 16 minus 1 equals 15. And this is the number bond right here. 16 is the whole, and the two parts are 1 and 15. I gave 1 to 29 to make 30, and I had 15 left. So now I have two numbers that are much easier to work with and add mentally or in my head. I have 30 plus 15. 15 has 1, 10, and 5 ones. If I add 3 tens to 1, 10, I'll have 4 tens. And then I have 0 ones plus 5 ones is 5. So 30 plus 15 is 45. So I know 29 plus 16 is 45. Let me show you another example. So 48 only needs two more to make a multiple of 10. So I'm going to make a number bond with 35. I'm going to take 2 from 35 and give it to 48 to make 50, because that's much easier to work with in our heads. If I take two ones from 35, I'll be left with three tens and three ones, because five ones minus two ones equals three ones. So 35 gave 2 to 48 to make 50, and it had 33 left. So now we have two easier numbers to add mentally, 50 plus 33. And our students can use their knowledge of place value to know that 33 has three tens. And if you add five tens, three tens plus five tens is equal to eight tens, and then the three ones. So 48 plus 35 equals 83. Let's look at one last example. 67 needs 3 more to make a multiple of 10. So I'm going to take 3 from 28 because I know 67 plus 3 equals 70. If I take 3 from 28, I'm left with 2 tens and 5 ones because 8 ones minus 3 ones equals 5 ones. So 28 gave 3 to 67 to make 70, and it had 25 left. Now I add my two numbers, 70 plus 25. Again, students can use their knowledge of place value to see that 25 has two tens. And if I add seven tens, two tens plus seven tens is nine tens, and I have five ones. So 67 plus 28 equals 95. And that's how our students can use number bonds to help them add.